Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything? And we're going to talk Flight Simulator on uh, this particular episode because Microsoft is, after what, 13, 15 years, is now actually returning back to Flight Simulator. And not Microsoft Flight. The Microsoft Flight had come out. Oh, I don't know. When was it? 2012 or some garbage like that? Oh, here. Let's let's pull that up here for a quick moment. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about right here. Microsoft Flight, which was a... It was a free-to-play game. I'll go back here. So, yeah. So, this was... It's an aviation game from Microsoft Studios. I like how it says is when it's not anymore. It was a spin-off of the Microsoft Flight Simulator series. It was free to play, but it charged gamers for downloading extra content, aircraft, or scenery. Um, it originally came with like the big island of Hawaii, uh, but apparently, apparently you, you can't get this anymore. It says Microsoft closed the Xbox.com PC Marketplace on August 22. Previous items purchased are still usable, and the flight software may still be downloadable, but no items can be acquired through the Marketplace. Now, I don't have a copy of this. I'd like to get a copy of this um, just for... I don't know. <laughs> I, I wouldn't really say it as completion's sake, maybe a little bit. But maybe just to do a few videos. But, um, I mean, really, that was the only thing that they had. This came out um, around, yeah, it was 2012, 2013. This is in 20... Oh, yeah, no, it was released in, on February 29th, 2012. But ever since that, they really haven't done anything else. And this wasn't really a simulator. It was more of a game, if anything. But that brings us back to this right here where it's supposed to be flight simulator uh although it doesn't say flight simulator 11 it just says microsoft flight simulator so what does that mean exactly especially when it says that it's coming for xbox and pc just to answer your question it's not just xbox it's also going to be on the pc but it's only going to be windows 10 which makes sense because they're not going to be supporting Windows 7 anymore. Um, and for those of you who say, well, I'm just not leaving Windows 7. Hey, man, I'm with you. I'm with you. I got Windows 7, but I also have Windows 10. My suggestion is create a dual boot system. So you've got Windows 7 and you got Windows 10. Put all the stuff that you like and you know that works on Windows 7. And then you leave Windows 10 for that other stuff. Uh, that, you know, either works better on Windows 10 or will only work on Windows 10 and beyond. So, for example, I got a lot of my games on Windows 7. I've got, like, The Sims and The Sims 2, Sims 3. Um, I've got my, um, vert my VMware on Windows 7. Um, I I've got most of my Steam games uh, on there. Uh, all the flight simulators on there. Windows 10, on the other hand, Windows 10 I have set up with The Sims 4 uh, through the uh, Origin, the EA Origin launcher, whatever. Um, it's also where I have No Man's Sky because I couldn't get it to work on Windows 7 for whatever reason. But it does work on Windows 10. And I've got it uh, through Steam and also through GOG.com. And also between the two, I have the Flight Simulator 10 Boxed Edition over on Windows 10 because I have a completely different setup there. Whereas on Windows 7, I have the Steam Edition. So I have them separated so they don't get mixed up uh, because on Steam, I use the Orbix scenery. On Boxed, I use Mega Scenery. Um, and where am I going to put prepared when I get it probably I don't know maybe Windows 10 maybe Windows 7 I don't know but the point oh well oh here's another one my my 
Microsoft. Minecraft. It is by Microsoft. Uh, well, it's sent by them. Mojang. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. The Java edition uh, of uh, Minecraft. I keep wanting to say Microsoft. Minecraft. I have on Windows 7. But, as some of you probably know, there is the Bedrock edition or what's called the regular Minecraft edition, which is cross-platform uh, compatible, I have that on Windows 10, which is the same version on Android and Xbox and all those other stuff. So, yeah, like I'm saying, in my opinion, I think it's best to have both. Have Windows 7, have Windows 10, do a do boot system between them. For those of you who hate Windows 10 and hate everything about it, I get it. I understand the reasons for it. But on the same on the same token, don't cut yourself off, you know, because there's going to be some stuff that's only going to work for Windows 10. So save Windows 10 for just that stuff. That that's my opinion. Anyway, uh, that's me rambling on, which has nothing to do uh, with Flight Simulator, but. Um, that is this here, and this is coming from flightsim.com, which I go to quite a bit. It almost seems too good to be true, but Microsoft Flight Simulator for Xbox and PC, Windows 10, has been announced today at E3. This was a couple of days ago. Um, and so here's the announcement coming in 2020. Microsoft Flight Simulator is the next generation of one of the most beloved simulation franchises. Yes, I agree with you on that. From light planes to wide-body jets fly highly detailed and stunning aircraft in an incredibly realistic world. Create your flight plan and fly anywhere on the planet. Enjoy flying day or night and face realistic challenging weather conditions that is the most that we get on that uh, let's go ahead and play this video that's loud here i'm gonna oh yeah i'll keep myself on here because you there'll be a link Ah! <laughs> what am I think? <laughs> I wonder if Flight Simulator actually does that, if it's like st stuttery and actually blacks out. Okay, so that is that is the trailer, which I think is um, absolutely amazing. Of course, trailers are designed uh, to look completely amazing. But let's kind of skip through here a little bit. Um, for one, take a look at these clouds. I mean, these clouds are just amazing. Um, it, it's like looking at this entire, uh, <laughs> it's like taking FSX and just bumping it to a whole new level with all of the add-ons that you can get, like Real Sky, um, or Active Sky, sorry, 
um, Act of Sky and the, the Act of Sky Cloud Art and uh, Rex and uh, Orbix uh, scenery. I mean, it's like it looks like it's all just combined into this one thing. Uh, again, keep in mind this is a trailer. It does not mean anything. But we've got visuals that we can go by. I mean, they look absolutely realistic, but when you look at it closely, you can tell they're computer generated. But still, I mean, look at this. I mean, ho holy macro. I mean, there's definite uh, definition with the, the land class and uh, the water and, and the, uh, the buildings. I mean, this looking at this just puts X-Plane to shame. It really does. And honestly, I think Microsoft is getting back into this because they they see that people are still they're still using Flight Simulator, they're using Prepared, they're still using FSX, and X-Plane has become more popular um, in recent years. And so Microsoft is like, hmm, let's go back to our roots. But look at this. I mean, low-hanging clouds? I don't think I've ever really seen this. I mean, not, I mean, not like this. Not like this. I've not seen it like this before. Um, what I'm wondering is... Will there be a, a realism setting to put like uh, smog or something? <laughs> I don't know who wants smog in their. Uh, I don't mean the dragon smog. <laughs> uh, as far as pollution, who wants pollution and smog in their simulation? I'm cu I'm just curious about that. As as far as as real as it gets, would you want smog or pollution in your in your simulator? I don't know. If anything, I would want an option to turn it off. Might be kind of interesting. But uh, look at the reflections here on this. That's that's just amazing right there. Um, I've seen some people say that, hey, this looks like it's ray traced, which is very possible. I mean, look at the reflections on here. Uh, so is it going to require a ray tracing capable uh, graphics card like the uh, RTX uh, 20, 60, 70, 80. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it is going to be Xbox compatible. Um, but you know how Xbox games, PC games, PC usually has better options than uh, the console. It's all up in the air at this point as far as what's going to be what. Uh, that again, that looks really cool. Okay, we got, uh, I think this is Los Angeles, LAX, uh, because this here, I think, um, I could be wrong, but this, I think, this reminds me of LAX, but, uh, of course, we've got some tube liners here that don't have any graphics on them, and, of course, well, they can't really put that there, because that would be, uh, ad placement, so they have to leave it blank. They could have put like world travel or <laughs> just for old time sakes, you know, the world travel and or orbit, orbit airlines and things. They could have put that on there. But uh, um, the lighting and the and the shadows uh, looks really amazing. I mean, check this out. That looks like that's on water. Um, look at these clouds. I mean, look at that. Was the sunset, sunrise, one of the two? That just looks amazing, right there. Now, what I'm curious about. One thing that I haven't liked uh, in FSX that X Plane does are the little are are the like the taxi lights. And lights that are before and after the runway that they're at, they don't float up in the air. <laughs> they you know they're just not like glowing dots that are just floating. They're actually you know they're actually little objects that are um, on little stands. I hope 
the new Microsoft Flight Simulator does that. I hope they're not just little floating lights. Um, here's another picture. I like how you've got this green uh, in the in the water. I mean, that looks very realistic. It's not just one shade of blue all the way through. It's actually um, got some color. And look how... And this is just amazing. I'm not sure where this is at, but this is really cool. Um, what is that? I think that's Alcatraz, Alcatraz Island. This is... Oh, it's like Caribbean. I don't know. I, it, it seems familiar, familiar, but I can't seem to place it. But check this out. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This this is like photorealistic scenery right here. Oh, I know this. That is the crater in Arizona. I've been there. It literally is a big hole in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> That's amazing. The thing with the lightning, it it looks a little overplayed here and not very realistic, but I mean, still cool nonetheless. Um, this is, I really like this, how the rain was coming across the windshield. Um, and this, this has, the fact that we really haven't had any decent rain on the windshield has bothered me for a while. Um, I know there are some um planes i think with like a2a where you can actually see the wind or the uh, rain on the windshield but it's like only that particular plane um so this will be nice to actually see um uh, in a uh, virtual mode like anyone uses 2d mode anymore another um amazing scene And also, I think it's trying to give you an idea that, you know, hey, we're not giving you just a few places to plot, fly. We're showing you places all around the world. Uh, lots of uh, animals, birds. Um, hey, come on. There we go. So, you know, we've already seen some cities. Uh, Egypt. I'm trying to show you, hey, yeah, Egypt's in here. San Francisco. Hey, I think I've got a plane that looks just like that. Whoops, I didn't mean to press play. <laughs> um, I think this, uh, for those that like the FSX acceleration as far as the, uh, the, the stunt planes, kind of gives you an idea like, yeah, you can do that here too. So, um, and it just kind of goes... And also, when I saw this, this tells me that, yes, multiplayer will be a thing. You'll be able to play with your friends. Uh, again, more animals, giraffes. So that's, that's really cool. Um, more, you know, uh, playing with your friends there and again there. So this is uh, like a reboot of Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator, I'm guessing, because they don't have a number on it. So they're they're wanting to start new and fresh. Uh, it kind of makes sense if they've built this from the ground up on a whole new uh, uh, platform, uh, you know, whatever you want to, uh, new base, whatever you want to call it, then it makes sense to kind of rename it uh, back just a Microsoft Flight Simulator because obviously this is on a whole new engine uh, whereas Flight Simulator 10 was built off of you know everything uh, before it I mean in, 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 in some ways I guess but yeah this looks like it's on a totally different engine and it looks amazing uh, what kind of computer are you going to need to run it is it going to be something that uh, you can download and play on your computer? Will you have the ability to, to do add-ons? Will it be you know open-ended like 
FSX and all the other ones uh, were, or is, you know, or is it going to be stuck? Is it going to be its own thing and not be open for third party developers and for user created content and stuff? Um, and another question that I've got in regards to this is ATC. That's a big thing for me. Will the ATC be improved on this? Will there be a variety of voices? Will there be chatter? Will it be um, proper ATC? Will they have it set up to where you can live stream in real ATC from actual airports? You know, that's, that's what I'm wondering. Uh, you know, are we going to have a nice, complete package with this we don't know at this point um but i think it it looks really cool um am i gonna get it yeah probably uh, i want to get some more information on it but you know i'm doing a series on all the other different flight simulators in case you didn't know <laughs> check out the uh the playlists that are on my channel i've got a world tour that I've been working on with all of the flight simulators. I mean, dating back to Flight Simulator 1, I've got that, and 2, 3, and I got the Commodore 64 version and the Commodore Amiga version, and um, all the way up to uh, FS9, FSX, and uh, X-Plane. And I have them all set up a little bit differently. They all do the same flight plan, but they all go about it in a different way. So that gives you a chance to just kind of sit down, watch one and say, oh, I wonder how it looks like on this simulator. Well, guess what? Now you can now you can see that. Now you don't have to go find a video where you're looking for comparisons on how this looks, what this looks, and you're only limited to whatever location that that video gives you. Uh, now you can actually see a flight from one location to another and experience that's like, oh, this is cool on X-Plane. I wonder what this would be like on uh, uh, the Commodore 64. <laughs> well, guess what? Now, now you can, uh, at least with, with what I have. So in that respect, yeah, um, absolutely. I do want to get Microsoft Flight Simulator and do my world tour on that. Uh, I only hope that Meg's Field will be an option. <laughs> I know it doesn't exist anymore. But um, it'd be nice if they had like a little toggle switch, you know, so that way for those of us who would like to uh, fly in and out of there, we have that option. For those who want a little bit of realism, you can, you know, untoggle it and turn it off and have the park or whatever it is, whatever it is that's there right now. But um, anyway, there you go. Microsoft Flight Simulator. What do you think about it? Um, I can't imagine anyone saying, man, that just looks like crap. That looks like garbage. Um, may maybe you do, <laughs> but I think, I think for 99% of us, we're all amazed and blown away by this. And this just came out of nowhere, nowhere. It's, it's like they've been working on this for how long? And nobody knew. Well, someone obviously knew, but they kept this under wraps. I mean, it was a complete surprise that this came out. So, wow. And and, and it's not like it's like, hey, guess what we're working on? This is going to come out in five years. No, this is like, we've been working on this uh, for the past 10, 15 years, and it's coming out next year. So, I mean, this is amazing. When's the next Elder Scrolls game coming out? I don't know. We're going to be stuck on Skyrim for the longest time. <laughs> anyway, what do you all think about this? Um, are you looking forward to it? Uh, do you think uh, it's going to be playable on your computer? Uh, or is this going to be on that cloud computing? Well, you'll have to log in to the Microsoft server and play it off of there. Um, do you think it's going to be a subscription service where you um, have to pay something every month to play it? And would you do it? Um, I think I would if I could make videos. 
but I don't know. I mean, there's there's so many uh, variables at this point. Um, so we'll we'll see what happens, and I I really hope that they fill in the gaps uh, that have been in the previous versions of Flight Simulator. I mean, really nice tight package. I mean, as perfect as this could possibly be, uh, ATC and flight planning and SIDS and stars and I want it all. Put it all into this one package. And I'll tell you what, I'll be a happy camper. I will be a happy camper. But let me know. And uh, if you're new here, subscribe. I appreciate it. And thumbs up. Just let me know. Uh, show me your support. Um, on that, I'll see you on another rambling video. Be sure to check out those other flight sim videos that I've got too.